Well, really proud of our players today. They um, just played a tremendous game uh, against a very, very good team. South Carolina is an outstanding team, very well coached, and they have great players. And you had to play well in this game, and our players did. So real proud of them, and we are excited to be in the championship tomorrow and intent on getting prepared to win it. Go ahead and take questions in the front center. Can you just talk about the 12-2 the to 2 start to the game and how important that was and getting confidence against a team that you just lost to two weeks ago and just maintaining that lead throughout the game? Well, I just thought the players really uh, listened to what we, our plan was, and that was just to be in attack mode all day. And that was the word that we wanted to rule the day for us and don't worry about the outcome or the result. Just get in an attack mentality and stay there. And I thought you saw a heavy dose of that early in the game. And... We were able to sustain it for 40 minutes. It was really impressive. I'm, I'm extremely proud of the players, and this was a great effort. Front left. Coach, can you talk about the, your ability, the way you all took care of the basketball today? South Carolina's known for their defense. You only have four turnovers, especially your freshman, Renee and Michaela, how they took care of the basketball today. Yeah, they just did a really nice job of keeping their poise, and uh, we, we, we probably had more poise and patience today than I've seen in a long time. We didn't have that in Lexington. We, we had a lot of quick shots and and uh, led to South Carolina really, you know, putting it to us. So that was the key of the game. You know, you, it's a, just a different way for us to get the turnover margin where we wanted it. Uh, we took care of it, and we did, we turned them over 16 times and took care of it. And and uh, that plus 11 in turnover margin, That's you, you're in pretty good shape in the game if you can get that. Any other questions in the back, back left? Matthew, you've won seven of the last eight. What does this say about your team since that five and five start? It says a whole lot. It says a lot about what kind of kids they are and what kind of character they truly have because I've said it many times. We uh, could have gone several different ways than the way we've gone. And so, you know, I'm really, really happy uh, about today, but I do want to stay focused on on what we came down here to do, and that was to win the championship. And so, you know, I, I think that, um, you know, no matter what happens tomorrow, they, they've done an outstanding job of pulling it together in real difficult circumstances when things weren't going um, how we any of us had planned. And so uh, I would really be happy for them if they can prepare and, and finish the job tomorrow. Tanisha, the... The rebounding margin in Lexington, I mean, you called it embarrassing, I think, at one point. What what kind of motivation did you guys walk into this game, and, and what kind of motivation do you walk into the championship game tomorrow with? Um, a lot of motivation. We knew that um, the way we performed in Lexington was not our best, and we just wanted to leave it all out there, no regrets, no matter the outcome. And um, I think everybody, every single one of us, um, we left it out there, and all credit to my team because we did a fantastic job. Next question on the left. Coach, um, Lee Michelson, Bill Court. Um, two things. First of all, there was a time, um, a moment um, late in the second half when you were sort of crouched there on the sidelines with your head in your hand, almost in a prayerful pose. Um, what was going through your mind right then? And then second, um, could you speak to Lene Harper's um, um, performance off the bench tonight? I was in deep prayer at the time. <laughs> And I really can't share with you why I was in deep prayer, uh, but I was in deep prayer at the time and trying to just uh, get myself um, ready to coach those final minutes. You know, it was, a, I, it was a tough call. The officials really worked hard today. It was a very physical game. And so I was just really uh, wanted to win so bad. And at that point in time, I was just trying to, you know, get clear my mind of any, th any you know, upset, uh, feelings that I had about a, a call or whatever that was going on. I really just tried to get where I could uh, coach the last couple minutes there. And, you know, Lene was uh, really, really tough today, really played with poise. Uh, the, the two freshmen have come so far with their defense. I thought she was a really good defender today. I was really proud of her defense. And um, she just she just played a terrific game. But, you know, um, I thought that she was sort of a great example of the entire team. We played with a tremendous amount of poise and toughness. 
we got down to the last seconds of the shot clock a few times and made buckets. So it was a terrific uh, performance, and you know I was real proud of Lene today. She played a great game. We got a follow up in the center. Uh, Coach, uh, I don't want to put you in the spot if you don't want to answer. That's fine. But is that something that you do often? I mean, turn to prayer during the game, not necessarily saying, "Oh dear God, please let us win," or you know. I'll let them find the basket, but to clear your own mind and, and yeah, and it, 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 and matter of fact, it is something that I, I do often. Front left. Yeah, Lene, can you talk about just your mindset today? Every time you got in, you was looking to attack the basket. So can you just talk about your mindset in today's game? Um, really, our coach he just made big emphasis on just attacking his own, and I think that was just my mindset, just to attack the entire game, and I just you know took what the, the defense gave me and just attacked the whole game. Back center. Uh, this is for Lene or Denisha. Um, Y'all uh, didn't uh, let them any closer than uh, eight points from about 647 in the first half on. Uh, just Y'all had an answer for them every time. Just kind of talk about that. Denisha? Um, we, we wanted it. I mean, at the end of the day, we just wanted to win, and we knew that we couldn't, you know, have them come close because we didn't want it a tough game. So we just tried to answer back and just, just play incredible defense, even if they um, they scored, just get it back on offense. And like Lene said, just stay in attack mode because they couldn't stop us when we were full force. What benefit does your team derive from the fact that the opponent that you play tomorrow, either one you've beaten on their home court in the last month of the season? Well, I, I, I don't know how much we'll even talk about that. I, I think what we've done a nice job of, of in the first two rounds is understanding what we needed to do to be successful in the game. And so um, we'll just, whoever the opponent is, we'll figure out what we need to do to be successful in that game, and we'll just focus on tomorrow. Uh, I told the players today, don't spend, don't spend any time in the past today and don't worry about the, the future either. Just stay right, uh, square, squarely focused on the play in front of you. And um, they did that today, and that's what we'll need to do tomorrow, no matter who we play. Front center. Uh, Lene, um, last time that you all played South Carolina only a few weeks ago, um, you only played five minutes, and then today, I mean, 27 minutes. Um, do you think that being able to sit back on the bench and watch maybe a little bit more of the South Carolina playing style and stuff like that, do you think that helped you today in your victory? Yeah, I think it, I think it helped a lot. You know, just watching from the side and just seeing how they play and their defense, I think it was an advantage to me for today's game. Got time for one more? Any others? All right, thank you.